Question 1. A patient with hypertension is prescribed a diuretic medication. Which of the following statements by the patient indicates understanding of the medication's purpose? A. This medication will lower my heart rate. B. I should take this medication with a full meal. C. It will help remove excess fluid and lower my blood pressure. D. I should avoid potassium-rich foods while on this medication. Answer, C. Rationale. Diuretics are used to remove excess fluid from the body and lower blood pressure by promoting urine output. Question 2. A nurse is administering an antibiotic amoxicillin to a patient with a known penicillin allergy. What action should the nurse take? A. Administer the antibiotic as prescribed. B. Consult the healthcare provider for an alternative antibiotic. C. Administer the antibiotic with an antihistamine. D. Monitor the patient for signs of an allergic reaction. Answer. B. Rationale. It is essential to avoid antibiotics to which the patient has a known allergy and consult the healthcare provider for an alternative. Question 3. Which medication class is commonly used to treat high cholesterol levels? A. Anticoagulants. B. Antiarrhythmics. C. Antihypertensives. D. Statins. Answer. D. Rationale. Statins are commonly used to lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. Question 4. A patient taking warfarin, Coumadin, needs to undergo dental surgery. What should the nurse advise the patient to do before the procedure? A. Stop taking warfarin three days before the surgery. B. Continue taking warfarin as prescribed. C. Switch to a different anticoagulant medication. D. Skip the dose on the morning of the surgery. Answer. B. Rationale. Patients on warfarin should continue taking the medication as prescribed and may require adjustments to their dosage before surgery to maintain therapeutic anticoagulation. Question 5. Which medication is classified as a bronchodilator and is commonly used in the treatment of asthma? A. Prednisone. B. Albuterol. C. Ibuprofen. D. Furosemide. Answer. B. Rationale. Albuterol is a bronchodilator used to relieve bronchoconstriction and is frequently used in the treatment of asthma. Question 6. A patient is prescribed digoxin for heart failure. Which laboratory value should the nurse monitor closely when administering this medication? A. Serum potassium level. B. Serum calcium level. C. Hemoglobin level. D. Serum creatinine level. Answer. A. Rationale. Digoxin can lead to hypokalemia, so it is essential to monitor the patient's serum potassium levels. Question 7. A patient taking a medication that causes photosensitivity should be advised to A. Apply sunscreen with a low SPF. B. Avoid outdoor activities during the day. C. Wear protective clothing and sunscreen with a high SPF. D. Stop taking the medication immediately. Answer. C. Rationale. Patients taking photosensitizing medications should protect their skin from sun exposure by wearing protective clothing and using sunscreen with a high SPF. Question 8. Which medication classification is commonly used to treat gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD? A. Anticoagulants. B. Proton pump inhibitors, PPIs. C. Antipyretics. D. Opioid analgesics. Answer. B. 
B. Rationale. Proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, are commonly used to treat GERD by reducing gastric acid production. Question 9. A patient is prescribed a medication that is known to cause constipation. What should the nurse advise the patient to do to prevent constipation? A. Increase fluid intake and dietary fiber. B. Decrease fluid intake to avoid bloating. C. Take the medication on an empty stomach. D. Avoid all dairy products. Answer. A. Rationale. Increasing fluid intake and dietary fiber can help prevent constipation caused by medications. Question 10. A patient is prescribed a medication with a narrow therapeutic index. What does this indicate about the medication? A. It has a wide safety margin. B. It requires frequent dose adjustments. C. It can be safely taken without monitoring. D. It is not effective in treating the condition. Answer. B. Rationale. A narrow therapeutic index indicates that the medication has a small margin of safety and requires close monitoring and dose adjustments to avoid toxicity. Question 11. A patient with diabetes mellitus is prescribed insulin. Which route of administration is most common for insulin? A. Oral. B. Intramuscular. C. Intravenous. D. Subcutaneous. Answer, D. Rationale. Insulin is commonly administered subcutaneously to control blood glucose levels. Question 12. Which medication class is used to treat hypertension by relaxing blood vessels and reducing blood pressure? A. Beta blockers. B. ACE inhibitors. C. Anticoagulants. D. Diuretics. Answer, B. Rationale. ACE inhibitors are used to treat hypertension by relaxing blood vessels and reducing blood pressure. Question 13. A patient is prescribed an opioid analgesic for postoperative pain. What nursing intervention is essential when administering opioids? A. Administer the medication on an empty stomach. B. Monitor for signs of respiratory depression. C. Encourage the patient to take the medication with alcohol. D. Administer the medication as needed for pain. Answer, B. Rationale. Monitoring for signs of respiratory depression is crucial when administering opioids because they can suppress the respiratory system. Question 14. A patient is prescribed an antibiotic that can cause diarrhea. What should the nurse advise the patient to do to prevent diarrhea? A. Avoid taking any over-the-counter medications. B. Take the antibiotic on an empty stomach. C. Consume probiotics or yogurt. D. Increase caffeine intake. Answer, C. Rationale. Consuming probiotics or yogurt can help prevent antibiotic-associated diarrhea by maintaining a healthy gut flora. Question 15. A patient taking a medication for hypertension should be educated about the importance of A. Reducing fluid intake. B. Increasing sodium intake. C. Regularly checking blood pressure. D. Skipping doses to avoid side effects. Answer, C. Rationale. Patients taking medications for hypertension should be educated about the importance of regularly checking their blood pressure to monitor the effectiveness of the treatment. Question 16. Which medication is classified as a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug, and said, and is used to relieve pain and reduce inflammation? A. Insulin. 
B. Digoxin. C. Aspirin. D. Metaprolol. Answer. C. Rationale. Aspirin is a nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drug, and said, commonly used to relieve pain and reduce inflammation. Question 17. A patient is prescribed a medication with a black box warning. What does this warning indicate? A. The medication is safe and has no risks. B. The medication may cause mild side effects. C. The medication has serious risks or adverse effects. D. The medication is suitable for over-the-counter use. Answer. C. Rationale. A black box warning indicates that a medication has serious risks or adverse effects, and healthcare providers should use caution when prescribing it. Question 18. A patient is prescribed an anticoagulant medication. What is the primary goal of anticoagulant therapy? A. Lowering blood pressure. B. Reducing pain and inflammation. C. Preventing blood clot formation. D. Treating bacterial infections. Answer. C. Rationale. The primary goal of anticoagulant therapy is to prevent the formation of blood clots. Question 19. A patient is taking a medication that is known to cause dizziness and drowsiness. What advice should the nurse give to the patient? A. Avoid consuming any caffeine. B. Rise slowly from a sitting or lying position. C. Take the medication on an empty stomach. D. Discontinue the medication immediately. Answer. B. Rationale. Patients taking medications that cause dizziness and drowsiness should be advised to rise slowly from a sitting or lying position to prevent falls. Question 20. Which medication classification is commonly used to treat pain and inflammation by inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis? A. Antibiotics. B. Antipyretics. C. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. D. Diuretics. Answer. C. Rationale. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, are commonly used to treat pain and inflammation by inhibiting prostaglandin synthesis. Question 21. A patient is prescribed an angiotensin II receptor blocker, ARB, to manage hypertension. What is the primary action of ARBs? A. Decreasing heart rate. B. Increasing sodium reabsorption. C. Blocking the effects of angiotensin II. D. Enhancing insulin production. Answer. C. Rationale. ARBs primarily block the effects of angiotensin II, leading to vasodilation and blood pressure reduction. Question 22. A patient with a history of chronic pain is prescribed an opioid analgesic for long-term pain management. What nursing intervention is essential to monitor the patient's response to the medication? A. Encourage the patient to take the medication as needed for pain. B. Administer the medication on an empty stomach to enhance absorption. C. Assess the patient for signs of tolerance, dependence, and addiction. D. Advise the patient to take the medication with alcohol to enhance pain relief. Answer, C. Rationale, when a patient is prescribed an opioid analgesic for long-term pain management, it is essential for the nurse to assess the patient regularly for signs of tolerance, requiring higher doses for the same effect, physical dependence, experiencing withdrawal symptoms when the medication is discontinued, and addiction, compulsive use despite harm. This monitoring helps ensure patient safety and appropriate pain management. Question 23. 
which medication classification is commonly used to treat seizures and epilepsy by stabilizing neuronal membranes. A. Anticoagulants. B. Anticonvulsants. C. Antiarrhythmics. D. Antipsychotics. Answer. B. Rationale. Anticonvulsants are commonly used to treat seizures and epilepsy by stabilizing neuronal membranes. Question 24. A patient is prescribed a medication that requires monitoring of blood levels to maintain therapeutic efficacy and avoid toxicity. This medication is known as a a over-the-counter OTC medication b narrow therapeutic index medication c placebo medication d prophylactic medication answer b rationale medications with a narrow therapeutic index require monitoring of blood levels to maintain therapeutic efficacy and avoid toxicity question 25 a patient with a history of allergies is prescribed a new medication. What is the nurse's priority action? A. Administer the medication as ordered. B. Assess the patient for allergic reactions. C. Educate the patient about the medication's side effects. D. Document the patient's history in the medical record. Answer, B. Rationale. The nurse's priority action when a patient with a history of allergies is prescribed a new medication is to assess the patient for allergic reactions to ensure patient safety. Visit nursestudy.net for more nursing practice exams, care plans, and study guides.